Hello everyone, my name is Mayur. I am the head of training and development division at Designia Learning and I'm going to teach you how to build your own automation framework in Selenium WebDriver. So we are going to use Java, Selenium, the concepts of page object model and page factory to build this framework. Selenium has become an essential skill for automation testers these days. It's a very important skill to have. And also if you're looking to switch your career to automation, maybe you are a manual testing professional and wanting to switch to automation, Selenium is according to me the easiest and best way to do that. And when we discuss about switching the project, the most important thing comes is the interviews. And the framework is often one of the most discussed concepts, most discussed areas of the interview. So that is why I'm going to teach you how to exactly build the automation framework in three simple steps and in this particular video we are going to discuss that step one so without wasting any more time let's get started uh, the first things first I have already installed the JDK on my system that's the Java development kit and we are going to use the Eclipse IDE and first thing is let's simply create a Maven project so it's going to be a Java project using Maven so to create a Maven project we can go over here, go to Others, find Maven, and simple. Click on Maven Project. Click Next. Click Next over here. And we are going to use this Maven archetype, Quick Start. That's the archetype we are going to select. Next. And we are going to provide the group ID as, let's say, Test Project. And Artifact ID as Test hyphen project and click finish and that's it Maven will build our project now if you expand this one we'll see the folders like source main Java source test Java and also we'll have a POM file that's POM that XML where we will add the dependencies so that's the point number one creating the Maven project in the POM.xml we will automatically see a JUnit dependency which is fine all we need to do is just update the version to 4.12 and then Maven will automatically update the version for JUnit. The next thing that we want to add is the Selenium dependency. So we are going to go to Google and search for Selenium Maven dependency. And on this very first site, we can capture this dependency over here which is 3.141.59 so simply copy this one go back to the dependencies section and paste that particular dependency and when you save that's it Maven will take care of downloading all the essential files to get that Selenium web driver intelligence added to our project so it's as simple as building our Selenium project, create a Maven project, add the Selenium dependency. Now we want to add one more dependency that is for test ng. So again, we are going to go to Google and search for test ng Maven dependency. And again, on the very first site, we can go and over here, this is going to be our test ng dependency. So go back to Eclipse and under the J unit dependency, I'm going to paste the test ng and simply by selecting all going to source and format, this whole file can be quickly formatted. So simple things. First, we updated the J unit dependencies version, then we added the Selenium dependency and then the test ng dependency. Now our project is capable of creating test ng tests and also it has got the Selenium web driver intelligence. Now one more thing, we also need to add the test ng at the Eclipse level. Now this dependency will add test ng only at the project level, but also we need the test ng added at the Eclipse level. So if you do not have it at the Eclipse level, all we need to do is go to help and then go to Eclipse Marketplace. On the Eclipse Marketplace, you will see a find where you can search for test ng now when you search for test ng you will see this test ng for eclipse and if it is already installed you will see this sign that it is installed but if it is not installed you can just follow the click through installation process it is pretty easy and at the end 
you might just see a warning for unsigned content which you can accept go ahead and it'll quickly restart your eclipse and then test engine will be added at the eclipse level so as simple as that so for now i'm closing this now let's close this xml and go to the source main java over here you will see a default package which we can simply delete and inside the source main java let's create a new package let's call it as elements and also let's create one more package inside the same let's call it as pages okay there is a significance of these packages and we'll use them for certain things in future so for now let's just create these two packages inside the source main java and also inside the source test java we will see a default package which we can delete and instead of that let's create one more package which we call it as tests so for now let's understand that this test package will contain our actual test ng test cases that we want to create now in this package let's create a test ng test case so let's right click go to new go to others search for test ng and select this test ng class click next uh, let's change the name to let's say home page test so basically whatever application that we're going to choose for testing the home page tests for that application will be inside this test ng class and simply click finish so it will create a test skeleton like this it will have a test annotation and a sample test that's f we can change its name later on now let's go to google and let's say we use ebay as the application just for testing and as for our first test let's say that we go and search something on the ebay let's say iphone x and we want to verify that from the search results the first search result at least should have the exact words that we are searching so basically we are validating that whatever item that we are searching the name of that item should be present in the first search result so let's create a automation scenario for this coming back to eclipse let's start adding the scenario over here i'm going to change the name of this test to something like search test from the home page and let's set up the basic properties for the driver let's say system dot set property and the key let's say we use chrome driver so i'm going to say web driver dot chrome dot driver that's the key and the value of the driver is this one so which is nothing but the path of the web driver executable which i have stored at this location at my system okay and then let's instantiate the driver so i'm going to say web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver okay that will instantiate the driver also we need to import both web driver and chrome driver from selenium and also let me add some implicit weight on the driver so driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicitly wait let's say for like three seconds so time unit is seconds now all we are doing in these first three steps is basic setup first thing is we are setting the chrome driver executable in the system and then over here we are launching the instance of the chrome driver by using the web driver interface as the declaration for the driver so that later on if we want to use the same driver object as a firefox driver we can just use the same and this implicitly wait it is just a sync point to avoid the timing issues like driver is trying to find some element and it's not immediately available then it'll wait up to three seconds for that element to appear so it's just doing that okay now let's use the driver to go to the ebay page so it is this url over here which we are going to use okay so driver.get will navigate the driver to the ebay page and then we want to enter into this particular so let me go back basically and inspect this element so i'm going to use crow path for inspection 
so when i inspect this particular search bar i see it has got some id so we can use a relative xpath something like this so for now i'm simply going to say driver dot find element by xpath and this is the xpath over here and then send keys and in the beginning let's create a string src item is equal to iphone access and then this item we can provide over here and then the next part is clicking on the search button so when we inspect the search button it also got some id which we can use like this through a relative x path so the next thing is driver dot find element again by x path this is the x path and simply we want to click on that and then when the search results appear we need to grab the heading of the first search result so it's basically an h3 tag and the xpath for this is little complicated i will create a video for that explaining how to create xpath and css in detail later on but for now Driver dot find element by xpath and the xpath for the item is this one over here and simply we are going to say get text so it will retrieve the text of the element and we can keep it inside some other string so i'm going to say search result one okay so three simple steps in the first item we are entering the search item clicking on the search button and then from the first search result we are getting the heading and storing inside the src result one string now the next part is simple we just need to create an assertion and check whether this particular search string is present in the title but before you're going to use assert we are going to import org dot test dot assert just because there are common asserts in between jnit and test ng so we are purposefully importing the test ng assert just to avoid the confusion so we are going to simply now say assert dot assert true and the condition is if the search result contains the search item and also we can make both of them at lowercase because we don't want to make a case sensitive search here so i'm just going to say search result one to lowercase and the item also to lowercase right so if the search item is present in the search result title then we can pass this test case so i'm simply going to say search key is present in first result okay so as simple as that checking whether a particular search key is present in the first search result or not so let's quickly run the test and see whether everything is working fine as of now okay the chrome is launched iphone access it's searching okay and i guess the test case is finished over here we can see the result we can see one test case run zero failures zero skips and also inside the test ng results we can see everything is passed so test is all good to go at the end we can also quit the driver so i'm simply going to say driver dot quit so we added a simple test case inside our test ng class okay so this is about the step one it is just a test that we have added nothing magical about it as of now in the next step step two and actually in the next video i'm going to show you how to implement the page factory for this thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to comment and also subscribe to desinia by going to deasylearn.com so that will be in touch and you get notifications for this important videos and updates thank you